tired. Whatever it is that you have to tell me, well, it can't be as bad as you think. You know, I... Staring out of this window above my bed in Ireland, nothing to look at for like six months except for some old sheep and, a, and an outhouse. And it's not as if I found God or anything, but I started to think that, that maybe somebody somewhere was keeping score of my life. And that all of the stuff from my past was going to be balanced out by what I was going through. And then when it was over, I, I was going to be able to, to start over again. Fresh. Well, you can. No, well, we can. And I, I think that's, that's what tonight is all about. What if... What if I had done something so terrible that nothing would balance it out? For better... Or worse. That is what I promised you, Todd. I know these these last secret months have been haunting you just like they were haunting me. Until I realized that I could open up and tell the man that I love. Because he would forgive me. And because he cares. Same. What, what, the... what you did and what I did, it's not even close. Well, I, don't, I don't care. You don't know. Look, Doug, whatever you did doesn't make you an evil person because I know what evil is. Evil is, is causing pain because you like to, because that, that's the only reason you have to live. Colonel Hester taught me that, and I, and I thank him. He taught me what evil is, but he showed me that our family... This family can stand up to it. Now, if that man can steal our baby, and we're still here, what, a, God, what chance does your secret have? You, you don't really believe that, do you? So there's nothing. There's nothing that I could tell you that would mean an end to this. I know it. Because you love me. And I know it. Because you love Star. 